What are your four guys guns and today we're in my everyday dad clothes with my everyday dad SUV and we're here to talk about the RE Factor Tactical drive-by kit. The drive-by kit was originally invented and created by operators moving from vehicles, operating out of vehicles and having to move on something. So it was built to actually contain, uh, you know, like a blowout kit or an IFAC as well as um, a bunch of mags and be able to just, you know, rip and go. So shooting out of a vehicle, gotta move, wanna bring what's in the bag with you and there you go. The reason why I bought it is actually not at all for operating from a vehicle and therefore this can't really be qualified I guess as a review but I'm going to showcase it for you guys a little bit because I went a little differently with it more of a civilian kind of use and especially anybody out there with kids knows you never know what's going to happen and it's good to actually have a little kind of car kit. The main driving story behind this is, is we had a carjacking, stabbing, carjacking, multi-car accident uh, one afternoon that I was unaware of as I was driving. Um, big to do, all over the news, found out, you know, hours after the fact. So what happened was I was driving, you know, go to the P.O. box, whatever it is, and suddenly it was almost in, in an accident. I didn't know what was going on. Got to be an accident that just happened. Some of us have been there before where your driver's just like, holy crap, I hope somebody catches that. Well, this is one of those times where when you see a girl on the other side, the wrong side of the Jersey barrier bleeding, and on the phone, there are zero first responders, and some of us have that initiative to want to help. And I immediately did a little quick inventory inside the vehicle and found I had nothing, especially something where on the side of the highway in the left lane, getting over blocking traffic and you know, kind of approaching the situation to offer any kind of assistance, it was a moot point if I did it because I had nothing I could help with other than holding things with my hands. The drive-by kit seemed to fit this bill perfectly and I'll show you what I did with it. And again, in the comments below, please let me know exactly what you would change, things that are good, things that are bad. All in all, we've had a lot of requests for people to say, hey, what's in that? Because we posted on Instagram, which you can follow us at, at 4 Guys Guns. Um, as well as Snapchat because this was kind of uh, something they didn't do before. Let's break it open and show you guys what's actually in here. So these are the main components of the RE Factor drive-by kit. This is your backer that goes on the seat. It comes nice and neatly folded, that self-adhering self Velcro. One side's done because that's the way it fits on mine. You have your quick pull tab, which is a thickened piece of nylon pull, and it goes right to the molly, which goes right to the rear of this guy right here. All it is is one directional. Yes, it stays put. I've been on some bumpy roads. Pull this guy right out, the whole thing comes apart. Really cool. So I think they should sell this individually. I think there's more uses for that, but this is the main component. So I'm gonna break this down real quick as to what I packed in here. And this is what I felt was a life or death crucial as well as a slight mix of things that the kids would need that me or the wife would need access to while driving, uh, like your Tylenol and, and glow sticks and stuff like that. So glow sticks are great for, especially in dark, providing a lot of light. Um, it also keeps kids entertained, they're cheap, and you can just throw those in there. A good blade, if you watched our first aid kit with Nick Smith uh, from the old FGG members stuff, a good sharp blade that'll cut, you know, I like not having the serrated, but it is what it is. Uh, I have two types of tourniquets, and here's the reason why. One, just in case there's multiple casualty type stuff. Two, I have a dog. The rats works really good on animals because he doesn't have to deal with a cuff. So this is, should be just a pull this, the whole thing comes out as you can see right there. It's gonna be fun to pack this all back up. A marker, markers are good for just about everything, whether it's writing on things like your cat tourniquet, which I have stored in the uh, mag pouch with some trauma shears. See, already firing hiccups in the system here. Cat, writing time, writing on people, writing on you know notes. I'm sorry, back into your car, but I'm out of here. Um, I also utilized a MS Clean Kits uh, magazine and this holds stuff that I could just not have to tear down this whole kit for to get so I have band-aids q-tips and uh, a bunch of other stuff that again some of this stuff is not crucial it's also just a convenience factor for while driving we also have on here a quick roll of tape that this clip is meant to go from the back of the vehicle directly onto a belt or something like that when you know, you're using it the way it's supposed to be I found it's a great way to look loop stuff onto and it still functions as a clip if you need to. You know, we could just literally take that off and clip that to where we need to. Back here, they want you to put two magazines, but like I said, pick up a couple MS Clean Kit packs and you're good to go. Now when I open this, it's gonna be a cluster effort. That's kind of the point, is to fill it as much as I can so if I'm right there next to somebody, everything just kind of spills out and I have access to it. I have a couple hemostats. I also have some antibiotic. I have Crazy Glue. Crazy Glue will also close small wounds and help all those other fun stuff. 
So hemostatic curved one straight. I have gauze. I have more gauze. I have ace bandage. Um, gauze, 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 gauze. Uh, I believe this is an Israeli, Israeli bandage. And then we also have a couple nitrile gloves, as well as Advil and acetaminophen. So ibuprofen and acetaminophen. And that's all just in the quick, gotta go get in the side of the road. Now, the way this was meant was to actually have an IFAC in there or a blowout kit, and you have all your little stuff that can go in there as well. It's also good for packing up admin materials, a um, couple frag grenades, like I know, if those are gonna fit, you know, whatever. But um, you also have Molly on both sides, so if you wanted to add stuff on there, you saw that I looped other things in there. But this is this is all there is to it. But I put all that little stuff in that little kit. I also, like you saw, clipped the knife. This is a, any working gear shop. This is literally like a bajillion lumen light that also has a magnetic base. It has flashing indicator, yada yada. Like I said, this isn't all just emergency stuff. It's also convenience access and right there on the headrest stuff. So pretty cool little setup not being used the way it's supposed to be, so therefore I can't say this does exactly what it's supposed to do, but it does what I need it to, and that's something that people should uh, keep in mind, is that sometimes gear and what it's designed for, you may be able to find a different purpose for it that does it maybe better than the manufacturer never thought of. One of the biggest reasons I like it is because of how quick it is accessible. I could literally reach over from the driver's seat, slam the car in park, grab that, be out the door, and be there in seconds, as opposed to, you know, getting out, going to the trunk, sifting through whatever we store all of our stuff underneath, especially if you have kids, you have strollers, you have toys, you have sports stuff, you have bikes, you have all this stuff that maybe that med kit isn't accessible. And if that's where a life-saving tourniquet is, that's kind of a problem. So the RE Factor Tactical drive-by kit, all in all, is a beyond well-made kit. This is made for a specific purpose, made to carry loaded magazines, frags, blowout kits, all that fun stuff, and you know, operate out of a vehicle, be able to grab and go on the fly if need be. I am not using it for that because as far as I know, I'm not hopping out of a vehicle or shooting out of a vehicle or doing both you know, in conjunction any near future. But you parents out there, you guys that uh, deal with you know, maybe animals all the time, let me know what you think you'd change. Uh, I'm really, really curious. Uh, I know I've probably said it about a million times already, but really curious as to what you think of this setup. What would you change? What would you do differently? Hopefully this makes sense. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, give us some more feedback on what I did wrong, what I did right. You stay safe, check your chambers, and we'll see you on the road. Beep, beep. Dallas, really? You're like, up my ass. Quick access for things to help with, you know, dadly duties, so to speak. <laughs> Duty. I gotta pack all this up again. Awesome. Dog. Stop looking at me, Swan.